2010, we had a great year. We finished strong as always. We ended on a really long unbeaten streak at home. Um, we did all the things we need to do in order to get in the conference tournament. We finished in second place overall in, I think, a very good women's soccer conference. And then we won a big game in the semifinal uh, against Oakland in a shootout, which is great to see players get put in that environment, that situation, and then step up and win. And then we lost in the um, conference championship match and conducted ourselves really well and uh, represented Western really well once again. Um, and then we lost, but we handled it with a lot of class. And and that's what I'm proud of. And then the fact that the team, we have 30 players and they maintained a grade point average of 3.55. So um, doing that and having been successful on the field at the same time, I think out of all Summit League, uh, as, at least out of all Western Illinois University teams, I think we had the highest place finish. And I know that there's a um, points awarded when they have an overall standings on that. And I don't know if anybody finished higher than us uh, representing this campus out of 20 sports. So I think there's a lot of positive things. I'm just old. I'm just getting older. <laughs> and the only changing that I've made in my life is I just am a lot more patient and uh, handle stress a lot better. And don't really worry about a lot of things that I can't control, and I'm not really focused on winning and losing, to be honest. Well, it's just nice for me. The exciting things are seeing players that become seniors take on like different life roles, seem so more comfortable and, and with their situation on a team seeing how everybody trans, you know, a sophomore goes to a junior. The relationship totally changes when kids become juniors and seniors with the coach. It's a totally different relationship. Like, you've been through some things together. Seeing how freshmen come in and adjust, sometimes it's comical. Uh, sometimes they all sit there and wonder, why did you even recruit me? Um, and you have to convince them why they're here, believe it or not. When a, probably six months ago, they all had egos that were this big. So that, I mean, I think that's all really enjoyable to see how these kids grow as people and see how these new people come in, blend with that, and that they grow. Because they have to grow in a really short period of time. Well, good thing is we have two keepers coming in because they're the only two we got. And then they'll compete. And then we have uh, a high school All-American, which is the first in Western Illinois history. And I don't know if we have any other All-Americans on any other sports team in the school. So that's a good thing. And then we've got some, got a lot of kids who have one thing in common. They're all like, they've all won a high school state championship. And that's something they can't teach. So they know how to win and they're part of winning programs. And and I think they're really excited to be here, like they, this is where they want it to be. Probably one of the tougher schedules we've had in the last three years. And then uh, we start off, we go to Mississippi, and I think we're going to train for that here because I feel like we're in Nigeria in the middle of Macomb right now because it's like 100 degrees every day, so I think we'll be used to that. And we're going to Mississippi Valley State. and. Uh, going to be hot there. So, and then we go to Iowa. That's a good contest. And so the schedule's pretty good. Actually, it's very going to be a really difficult schedule, to be honest with you. And but I think that's going to be a good challenge. It'll be fun. We're going to see like nine different states. I think that's great for kids to get to travel and see the country and to fly to to Vegas when we play Southern Utah. I think all of those experiences are so at the end of the day, when players are 30, they're not going to remember we played Southern Utah. They're going to remember that we flew out there and the experiences we had. And I get that. Last season, we weren't really 
um, respected, and we kind of proved ourselves to, the t to other uh, people in our conference. So um, it taught us that we, when we don't give up, I mean, we were uh, fourth in conference and we beat the number one team. Um, so we weren't expected to do well. So I think we proved ourselves, and um, I think we're just going to build up that this year. Last season taught us that we're never out of the fight and that we're always kind of seen as underdogs, but you know, we always exceed expectations, so I just kind of want to bring that back again this year. Taught us that we can be successful as long as we continue to work hard. Um, we are good at being underdogs and through just continuing fighting, uh, we were able to make it to the championship of the conference and we were only one victory away from NCAA tournament. It pretty much taught us that uh, it doesn't matter if you're ranked the underdogs. Um, we pretty much showed our conference that um, you can keep ranking us at the bottom, but we're going to keep coming up to the top and uh, being open was a great accomplishment for us. We have 32 girls on our team. so. Um, some team goals uh, to all gel together, um, win conference, um, take first seed, be the first Western team to make it to the NCAA tournament. It's an extreme honor. Um, I think that being a captain, it's not necessarily what you do on the field, but it's things that you, you're represented, how you're represented off the field. Um, I think you have to be responsible, um, approachable, um, and uh, girls have to look up to you. So it's an extreme honor and it's a big responsibility. One of the biggest honors I've ever gotten, but I know that it comes with a lot of responsibility. So I mean, there's a little bit of pressure, but I know that Coach has faith in me and the other captains, so it's exciting too. but respect for him. Uh, he knows so much about the game and he cares so much for everyone about this team. Like he could tell you the littlest detail about your life and I mean it's just very cool that not all coaches are like that are so personable. So like it means a great deal to me. Coach has high standards so mm -hmm. it's um, he looks not only at your skill on the field but he looks a lot as just your ability to be a good role model for the team both on and off the field. I'd say the first thing is being approachable. Um, you have to be someone that girls can come up and talk to you, you know, if they're having a bad day or if something's bothering them. To serve as a liaison between coach and the team so that communication is open, to be approachable, um, and just a representative of both coach to the team and the team to coach. I think that on and off the field, especially, I mean, in school, um, in soccer, and just anything that we do, and we, it's something that I think we need to be more conscious of, and that I think is the best way to lead is through example. Also, just becoming a family so that we can truly play in as a team. Well, we'd always encourage people to come and watch, and um, we're pretty open door policy. I don't think that we're that important. I think that students should come, and my office is always open. That there's got to be some soccer fanatics out there that want to talk soccer and talk about the world and, and soccer. Um, so we'd encourage people to come. I think it's entertaining. I think it's a Obviously, good money for your money if your family in town because it doesn't cost a penny to come in. Oh, we'd love to see you out there. It's always fun to play for a huge crowd and just to hear, uh, you know, go next or uh, go WIU. To see the purple and gold is excellent, so please come out and support us. And we have a really difficult season this year. We're playing some really good teams, so the competition is not just, we're not going to be winning 5-0. You're going to be seeing a lot of good, good players, Division One, and um, yeah, where we have a great team this year. We're going to be fit, and we're going to win.